Hello, this is Kilo Echo Zero, Bravo Sierra Juliet. Handle here is Charles, and today on this video we're, we are going to go over the feature, the QSL card printing feature of the November 7 X-Ray Golf Logger. Okay, now I have already, now I've already created my own um, QSL card in, in, in the report builder, and got it designed the way I want it and got all the fields and everything in there the way I I want it to show up now um, to use this card we will go ahead and close this out <clears throat> whenever you make your contacts and everything and you're ready to print cards you'll come up here to reports and process QSL cards and in the name of the report you want to make sure that you have the card you're going to use selected and then you come down here and print print cards then this will give you a print preview of the cards that are going to be printed alright so then you can make sure that everything's um, correct and everything on it we'll go over and inspect every one of them Now I found a couple couple mistakes. Um, W9GG does not have a name in the QSL message, as well as let me write that one down so we can go in and fix it. One on the first page also did not AA zero Zulu Papa. So we need to go in and fix those. So we will find those contacts easiest way to do is do a search for the call sign W9GG and as you can see these fields are not filled out so all, basically all you gotta do is just click in one of the fields and tab and it's going to automatically fill, fill it in from the FCC database that's in on your computer so these fields are filled down but if you will notice now the QL, QSL message still does not have his name there that's because it's already been put in there so now we have to go back in and just redo that so it'll pick up his name and all you have to do is click the this button here and it's still already on 160 so all you gotta do is choose OK now that went ahead and picked up his name and put it in the QSL message so now we can close that one and then we need to search for the other one which was AA0ZP now we should have looked and paid attention to which one it was but I think it was the newest one so we'll just go ahead and and some of these fields weren't filled out so we'll just more than likely it's this one and it is so you notice the names not filled in there but it is up here so all you gotta do again is just click on this and click OK and then that automatically redoes that and picks up his name so we can go ahead and close that and we can go back up here go down back to process QSL cards make sure the correct report is and print cards and go back and verify that they're all correct and they are <clears throat> now normally I will only print QSL cards whenever I have full pages to print so in other words I've got this page here that's not going to print but if but if so I'll wait until I get another contact and then then I'll print the um, QSL cards out but for demonstration purposes we'll, I'll go ahead and print the QSL cards and show you how to walk through it and besides um, a lot of these contacts I've already sent their cards and everything to them I just had to have some cards to sh demonstrate um, so it will pick up cards and demonstrate so I can demonstrate the report process so anyways a lot of most of these are old con or contacts that I've already sent cards to so now I'll go up here and I'll click on print and then I'll print it print them out now I will not print them because I'm so I've already got to print out on a one to waste paper or ink so I'm gonna go ahead and cancel this but if you was actually printing cards you'd go ahead and choose okay so I'm gonna choose cancel 
Now you will wait until all the cards print out and you can make sure that they all printed out correctly and once you know they have already printed out correctly then you can come up here and click on update okay and it's going to tell you the update was complete now what that does is it goes in there and marks those cards as sent so now if I go back in here and process QSL cards go to print cards there's not any going to be showed up because I don't have any to print. Okay. <clears throat> so that's it for as far as how to use the actual printing of the QSL cards in the logger. Now then, on to the second part of this, we will show you how to set up the QSL cards in order to print. So what you do there is you go to hit go down to Report Explorer, and under this QSL cards folder, Dean has so graciously included a bunch of generic cards that other people has used that you can actually use as templates to set up your own cards. So just go through here and look at the cards, see what they're going to actually look like, and find the one that you would like to use. And like I said, there's a bunch of them, so um, just go through each one of them and find out what they're going to look like. Now, since I don't have any contacts that needs to pr be printed, I'm going to have to go back out here and change some of these cards to not sent, so we got some to, that we can actually view and play with. So I'm just going to change some of these to not sent. <laughs> Now you can also navigate through each individual record using this toolbar up here. So I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to choose any more of um, A0HF's cards. So let's go down here and just find four or one more. So I'll have a total of four. So it'll print out four cards to one sheet. Okay. So now if I go back into reports and I choose one of these QSL cards then preview it'll actually show how they're going to print out on the paper and with all the contact information here so like I said just go through there and open up and find the one you want to mess with and use So let's. I'm just going to pick one. I like one. I like the four up. So let's see what this one looks like. Okay, this one will work. So we're just going to go ahead and play around with this one. <clears throat> now, if this is the one you want to use, what you need to do is go after you decide on this one. Go up here to File and Save. Save as. Okay, now what you want to do now is name it whatever you want. Um, like mine, I use my call sign, and I had had a separate different one for Veterans Day. Um, this is a new one that I'm currently using, and there's another one here that I used in the past. So normally I use throw my call sign in there first. And then... Um, give it another descriptive name we're gonna say test or right, let's put demo and then save so now this up here says uh, Kilo Echo Zero Bravo Sierra Juliet demo now I can make changes to this one and save it or make changes to this one and save it and it won't overwrite the original one that we were using which was the generic QSL generic 4 up. So this will always be there and unchanged. So, so now you can sit here and you can adjust um, adjust fields and get it set up the way you want it to print.
So just mess around with it and design it. Now this is an image field. Um, let's go ahead and put an image in here. By doing that you just right click on it and come down here to picture and then it allows you to browse your computer to find a file that you want to put in there. Um, Let's go ahead and I thought I had a 3905 label somewhere in here. So let's see if I can go out and find it. I really can't find it. So we'll just go ahead and put that one in there. Yeah, that doesn't look good, so well, let's just use that one. There we go. So once you make your changes, go ahead and preview it, see what it looks like. Oops. So now that moved the one over. I didn't really want that. So what I should have done is select both of them. And you can select all the fields you want by click just holding down the shift key and clicking on the fields you want to move okay so now I want these text box these check boxes aligned their right sides aligned so I select both of them and I'll go up here to the toolbar and I'll find the alignment tools which are these tools right here and that one right there is the align the lefts. So I'm going to click it, and the lefts are aligned. Now it aligns. Let's say you got the two objects here, and let's just throw this out of alignment now. Now, if this is the one, if you want this checkbox aligned with this one, choose this one first, okay, and then the other one second. Then if you click the align it will align to the one you chose the first okay so let's do the opposite so let's I want this one this one aligned to that one so whatever one you choose first it'll align to that one so hold down the shift key select that and then align the sides okay now those are different sizes um, I just now noticed that so we want them the same exact size and I want this one to be the size of this one and it's the small this one's the smaller one so select both of them and then if you come up here to the menu you will look and find the one that says shrink to width to the smallest you want that one and you want the one to shrink the height to the smallest which is that one and again if you don't get these callouts um, like this one the callouts that tells you what that button means then you can go up here to file and oh we're in the wrong spot <clears throat> let's go ahead and save this report real quick so I can go show you where you can get those callout functions we don't want that we want save Okay, let's go ahead and close this, close this, and then we go up here to, on the main screen, you go up here to File, System Options, System Options again, and make sure this right here is checked, Show Hints. Okay, once that is checked, then it'll show the hints. Now, it takes a little, little time for those to show up, so be patient. Okay, let's go back to Report Builder, open up the call sign demo and let's move some more boxes around okay let's see what that looks like okay I can I think I can live with that so let's go back over here to the designer and let's make sure I saved it and now we can print, use that card to print QSL labels. So let's go ahead and close all these. Now if I go to reports, process QSL cards, 
print cards. Oops, I didn't change it. <clears throat> Let's close that. And then we have to select it in name of report. So that's the one we just messed with. Then print cards. And now it shows the new card that we selected. Then you can go ahead and print them. And then once you got them all printed, be sure that you update it. And after you make sure that all the cards printed correctly, then you can go ahead and click the update button. And that will update it and change the status to sent. See now if I go back in, I will not have any more cards to print. So that concludes this um, tutorial on how to use the built-in QSL printer. Thank you very much for watching and please stay tuned for more videos.